former Senator Bob Klitschke is taking aim at the Department of Land Management over a certificate of title they issued to the Archdiocese of Agania that supposedly proves once and for all that they own the controversial Redemptorist Mater Seminary. The problem, says Klitschke, is that the certificate they issued is wrong. On November 29, 2015, the Archdiocese of Agania published in its newspaper, the Umatuna Tsidzuos, on the front page, a certificate of title from the Department of Land Management showing that the multi-million dollar Jonya property, the Redemptorist Mater Seminary, does in fact belong to the Archdiocese. The purpose was to respond to critics who claim Archbishop Anthony Aperon essentially gave the property away to a third party affiliated with the neocatechumenal sect. Former Senator Bob Klitschke says he saw this edition of the Umatuna Tsidzuos and immediately noticed something missing. So he wrote a letter to Land Management Director Mike Borja about it. It was dead wrong because a memorial memorializing a declaration of deed restriction wasn't there. So I'd like, I'd like everybody to know that that picture of that certificate of title that they saw on the front page of the Umatuna Tsidzuos on the 29th of November was misleading, wrong, and a hoax. Every time action that impacts a property is taken, it must be recorded within the certificate of title as an instrument. This will keep a record of every action taken on the property. The certificate of title the Archdiocese of Agania published in the Umatuna Sizuos on November 29th, says Klitschke, did not list the declaration of deed restriction issued back in 2011. This is the contentious document that many, like the concerned Catholics of Guam, believe proves that the $40 million property is no longer in the control of the church because the deed, quotes, decrees to designate, assign, earmark, and otherwise set aside the property to the Redemptress Modern Seminary for perpetual use. There is a serious problem with the deputy registrar of titles, a gentleman named Andrew D. Santos, who issued a certificate of title. The error was noted, but when a correction was made, says Klitschke, it didn't seem to fix the problem, it seemed to make it worse. That certificate of title should have been corrected, and it was corrected, but as I showed you on the papers, the correction was even wronger <laughs> than the bogus certificate of title that ran on the 30th of October. And if you have a public document that's wrong and you hold it out and and uh, you try to convince people that it is genuine, that is not a good thing to do. Klitschke says that what should be on the certificate of title is something land management should answer to. Land Management Director Mike Borja did not return our calls for comment. As of news time, the Archdiocese of Agania declined to comment on the matter.